Okay, good morning, everybody. And uh, as pursuant to my message in the office meeting this morning, um, I told you I was going to show you one of the features which you can use immediately in Moxie uh, very easily once you gain access. So the first thing is you need to know that you are in mycbdesk.com. Up here, I've got it. Sir, uh, I'm circling it in the search bar. So mycbdesk.com, you log in, and this is your dashboard. And somewhere on your dashboard, hopefully, um, uh, it won't be necessarily in the same order because you can move these tabs around, as you can see. Um, but you can the things that you use most often, um, you can move these tiles. There's a bunch of different things that you can add in to utilize here in the backend system. But MoxieWorks is where we want to go, so we click on MoxieWorks. And once you get into MoxieWorks, this is, you should have a um, home screen that looks something similar to this. Uh, if you don't have your photograph in here uh, or you don't have all of this information, then you may want to reach out to Jackie and see if she can help you with that. Um, but where we're gonna go is we're gonna go up here to the first module, which is present. And you click on present and it will give you a dashboard of any presentations that you have created. Uh, in this particular case, you probably will have none. I've been playing with this a little bit. Um, so if you go to create new here on the right, and there are multiple different templates, presentation templates that are already built in, we're gonna be developing some more uh, for you to be able to utilize. Um, we'll create a presentation uh, that you can utilize for service providers, things like that. We've got some plans to do that. But what I want to show you is the buyer tour. So you go down here and click on buyer tour and say continue. And it gives you the default buyer tour. Say continue. And uh, tells you what your MLS, so what the listing source is. In this particular case, um, I'm using CRMLS. And who we're gonna prepare it for is uh, John Fire. So put a name in, hit create. It'll take a second, and it'll bring you to the next screen. And this is where you would change your cover page image if you choose to. Um, pick out a photograph that you have. I've got some photographs of the lake that I utilize. Let me scroll down here. Let's see here. Previous 30 days. Lake shots. And I'm going to just select this photo. So that'll upload that photo to the system and I'll show you where that shows up later. So once you've done that, or you can just use the standard one if you like, but it's better to have a custom photo, I think. Say continue. And in this particular case, I'm gonna pull up Lake Arrowhead because my buyer is interested in Arrowhead. Click on that. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna create that market area for you. And it's gonna show you all the listings. Now there are duplicates. Uh, in this particular case, let's narrow this down. My buyer wants to be 1 million to 3 million. Sorry, 1 million to 1.5. And say apply. That's going to narrow it down to uh, active listings and pending listings. Cancel listings. As you can see in this top corner, it gives a total for that sampling. Uh, it gives a total of 310 listings. So, for example, if I want if my buyers interested in this price range and they're interested in 304 Lake Knoll, you've got duplicates because there's CRMLS and RIM. Uh, you've got North Shore Road, um, Brentwood. And let's just pick one more, Crest Estates Drive. So those are the listings I've selected. You can see they show up here on the map. Uh, actually, you'll see that in a second. So you scroll down to the bottom and you say continue. 
And this is where you could change the order if you choose. Let's say you there. Let's say that this this was three and this was two. Um, you can um, click here and change the order if you want to make this one three or this one two. You can go ahead and do that. Save order so the order is then saved. And then you click continue. You can also add more listings if you don't have enough. So let's add, let's just add one more. And we'll pick, uh, how about Oakwood? And then we'll say go down and scroll down and we'll say continue. And then it gives us our order one, two, three, four as it goes. Again, you can change that order if you choose to. Um, if you want to, if you want to create a different route, um, but once you get the listings in there, you go ahead and say continue, and your buyer presentation is complete. So, um, the photo that we uploaded, you can see here in the background. If we go to view, uh, actually, let's go here. So, if we say send, and all you do is you put the email address, maybe later, put the ad email address in. You can put a greeting, uh, you can add additional information, message to the buyer, and then just say, go ahead and go. Um, if you wanna view it and see what it looks like, go ahead to web and it's creating the buyer tour. They're sent a link in the email, which has a really nice presentation, has your branding on it, and then a button for you to click. When they click the button, it goes to this. And as you scroll down, it gives you the photograph, gives you your contact information, it gives them the map and it and it shows the properties that we selected. They can click on those properties and get in additional information, photographs, all the different photographs. Um, continue scrolling down, it gives a map of where everything is. Then as you scroll down further, it gives the listings again in more detail. You can go ahead and click on those and it gives some interactive options for the buyer. And as you scroll down further, it gives you the listings across the board uh, and gives a side-by-side -side comparison with all the basic data from the MLS. It also, the next screen gives you uh, a summarized table that shows square footages, dollar per square foot and whatnot, so they can evaluate that. Some additional graphs, more graphs, plotting the property, I think that's days on market, price versus size, and then finally your branding. So uh, really nice little report. I would imagine, let's say you've got a buyer coming up, they're gonna look at six houses. Um, you could send this to them the night before. They've got a nice little interactive presentation. Um, I had a client that was just wanting some basic information for the price range. You could select as many listings as you like to be included in it. And it was created, as you saw me creating it, very quickly. And I think it has a powerful impact. That's in there, in the system for you. We'll have further tips and tricks as we go utilizing this, but uh, just so you don't need to be too intimidated, you can get in and create a really nice presentation very easily.